Hello guys and welcome to this video to discuss how to make sure that we are actually seeing periapical lesions and not, for example, the superimposition of any other structures on periapical radiographs, all right? So, uh, before we continue, I'd like to remind you guys that this video is to orientate your studies and not to replace your studies, okay? So, there's even a recommended reference, you know, of a book from Professor McDonald, which is in the screen now for you guys. So let's start with this first key point, which is the continuation of the lamina dura. So we need to make sure that the lamina dura is surrounding the entire apex, because if it is, then it's not a periapical lesion, all right? Let's see the radiograph in, on the left side of your screen, okay? I'm talking about the letter A. Let's try to, to make sure that the lamina dura is still there. So now you guys are seeing a brown line, Okay, contouring the lamina dura, and I will remove the brow line now. And basically, you can confirm that the lamina dura is surrounding the entire apex. And that means that the white arrow is not showing a periapical lesion. The white arrow is showing the mental foramen, right? And this is actually the right location of the mental foramen on periapical radiographs. However, on the letter B, then we have something else, right? then I'm pretty much sure you guys already noticed that we do have a radiolucent lesion. So let's try to follow up the shape of the lamina dura here as well. And you guys are seeing the brow line again, and the lamina dura was coming normally from the alveolar crest downwards, but then it gets in continuation with the lesion, right? And it leaves the apex with no lamina dura, okay? So you guys are seeing now this area marked in red, which is the apex of the root, and there is absolutely no lamina dura there. So that's the first key point that I'd like to talk about with you guys, okay? Now, the second key point is to detect the normal superimpositions that are expected in this region. So in the radiograph of the left, we are seeing the incisive fossa. It's not a lesion, okay? There's even the canine fossa close to this area, but distal to this area. So how we can make sure, again, we follow up the shape of the lamina dura. The lamina dura is there, surrounding the entire apex. And we do know that sometimes more, sometimes less, but the incisive fossa can show as a radiolucent area because there is less bone in this area since it's a fossa. Now, in the radiograph of the right side, we do have a radiolucent image. We have actually two radiolucent images superimposed to each other. The line that you guys are seeing marked in the white arrows is the intermaxillary suture, right? Whereas the, the shadow behind it is the incisive foramen. So one structure is in the buccal side, the other structure, the foramen, is in the palatal side. But we can still follow up the shapes of the lamina duras and then you know, this is actually no lesion, this is just normal anatomy. And then the third key point that I would like to talk about with you guys is, of course, something that we need to do always to diagnose our cases, which is to correlate with clinical findings and even the history of the patients. So we need to do this always. Sometimes if we forget this, it's because we are still undergoing our learning curve. So please try to make sure that you guys are always using radiographs to complement your clinical examinations, all right? So in those radiographs, on the left side, for example, of your screen, we have something that is the periodontal ligament space widening. I can still see the lamina dura. So it's not, uh, it's not actually a periapical lesion yet. On the right side of your screen, it's just the nutritious canals. So it's also anatomy. It's, it's rare to see these on periapical radiographs, but it can show, okay? So we do need to know the anatomy, we do need to correlate with the findings. How are these teeth? Are these teeth responding to percussion with pain? And then this will also be taken into consideration for our diagnosis, all right? So if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button and see you guys in the next video.